Hi guys, and today I am doing the. Oh, what is it? It's the secret diary of a YouTuber. Um, I don't know. My friends have been asking me to do this. They have YouTube channels, and they've been personally telling me to do this. And finally, my friend Jess finally sent me the questions with a very. I know most people probably find it the most rude and nasty note, but she was like, "Excuse my language if you don't like cursing, but." This is her word for word. Bitch, here the question's not. There's no excuse for you. I just haven't really gotten around to do it because I've been busy. But I actually have the questions on. I think I actually copied them so I don't have to end up going back to her email. Because the more I look at it, the more I'm like, okay, do you seriously think I have time to do this? But um, I've got Christmas order. So I'm kind of just sitting in the thing waiting to be cut so I can start putting together my Christmas basket so that way I'll be able to put it on my site. So while that's doing that I might as well just do this before she probably comes to my house and murders me in my sleep. But um, first question is how long have you been on YouTube? Virus database has been updated. Okay I researched you like an hour ago so that would have been useful then. Oh, my computer it's being the vast is being weird and slow. But um, I've actually been on YouTube for quite a while. I've had this channel, I think for, phone's falling, a few years, I think three, two or three. But before that, I actually had a channel when they first started and I would do AMVs, which is anime music videos. I'd, I'd just, um, mm, pardon me, um, take, video clips of my favorite animes and put them to my favorite songs and always try to match the scenes with what the song I picked and of course they weren't as strict with the copyright laws as they are now. Um, I actually had a really good success with that channel. I did do some movies like I did um, Harry Potter and I did 13. Um, I did a couple other movies but um, most of it was anime but they took it down but I'm actually looking for a channel to actually put some of them up because I miss doing that and it was just really fun for me but um so all together I've been on YouTube since they first started it's only recently I've been doing a makeup channel because finally I got three strikes on my other channel so I couldn't do that anymore actually my name used to be AMV Queen on there my first channel like I had a lot of likes, a lot of subscribers, but you know, copyright laws. When Google took over, they got really super strict on that. So I had to take that down. Um, at what point do you think you will stop? I really don't think I'll stop per se. Uh, of course, I do have my own business which I do have another channel for the show where I show you how I make my stuff but um, I don't think I'll ever stop this channel I know I've gotten really busy or I've just been lazy and don't feel like film but most recently it's because I've been sick lately it's like every time something comes around I get it and plus I do have a full-time job I do every day well not every day well both of them are pretty much a full-time job um, my business is a full-time job and my other job that supports everything is a full-time job so that one's 40 hours a week of complete stress but it helps fund everything I do like my makeup videos um, I pretty much pay for all my makeup I use I'm not sponsored by anybody um, and it pays for supplies from other business and as, as well as all the profits I get from that and what I give to my charities and I know you've just seen this, this is actually a thing I'm doing for my Halloween video, so do not worry about that. I was trying to work with shading, and of course, I don't draw well. That's supposed to be a spider web, but it's all crooked. So just ignore that. I can't draw, I'm not my mother. My mother got the drawing and painting talent. I didn't get that, and that's the only one art thing I wanted. I can draw you a stick figure, but even I screw that up. Um... What's the best thing about being on YouTube? Um, I think it's more because you actually have a free community of how to do stuff normally. 
like when I was growing up and getting into, well, I've always been into makeup since I was a very little girl. I mean, two, three, four years old, I was begging my aunts and my grandmother to always do my makeup. But, um, but when I started really getting into makeup, like my preteens, my dad, I, there was no YouTube. Like, I actually had to go, my dad actually put me in a makeup class to where I learned how to put on makeup and, you know, what would keep right for my age group. And, you know, just stuff I could do when I'm older. Because I was raised mostly by my father who has no idea what this. I mean, when I, when I bought my first lipstick, he cried. He literally just broke down and cried and says, where's my girly boy? He called me his girly boy because I was always the tomboy. I'd go out and get full of mud <laughs> with the guys, but I'd always had to come in immediately and shower. I just could not be dirty. I'm still like that. I still can't be dirty. <laughs> but, um, you know, over the years, I think he figured... A little bit past that, I think you pretty much figured, you know, I need to put her in a makeup class. I don't want her doing something that makes her look like a whore, which is his words. But, um, I know most people can't afford it because it really was expensive even that back then. I think the class cost $150 per class and there was like three or four classes. I mean, they weren't back to back to back to back. I mean, there was a class this week and there was a class next week, but, um, it's still kind of costly. But um, I think they're, I think it's glad that YouTube, it's free, so that people can go and learn to do makeup looks and, you know, learn the do's and don'ts and just everything. I really wish they had YouTube back then because it would have saved a lot of money. Um, what's the worst thing about being on YouTube? Um, I think it's the very rude and just ignorant people. Like, um, I get some occasionally, and, um, one of my friends, who gets a lot, and it's, like, comments like, oh, you're so stupid, uh, like, um, I got one, like, I never actually had them comment on it, like, I actually get them, I used to get them through messages, and I actually remember one, I don't remember who it was by, but they're like, you're stupid, you're, sh all your music, all your videos are a piece of shit, you're a piece of shit, and, you can't do anything for something, something or other. It was like so rude, and it's like I actually went when I get those. I actually go check people's channels out, and like they have no videos, and they've been on YouTube forever. And I actually used to message them back and be like, "Okay, you know what? Where's your videos? Oh wait, you don't have any. I guess because I'm brave enough to put myself out there, and you're not. You should double check yourself, bitch." And if they would keep messaging me on like different things, I'd actually really report them to YouTube and I know they would get their channel spanned. And I actually do that to my friend's videos. I go to her house and we log on to her things and like they really are mean in the comments because she does like, voiceovers to things. And they're like so horrible. And once again, I go check their stuff and like they have nothing. So actually what I've told her to do is ban them from your channel now and report them for harassment if they keep on. And that's what she does. Um, Kate, well, I think everybody kind of gets that because I see like the top beauty gurus get some like really nasty comments and I'm like, okay, we're brave enough to put ourselves out there to get behind the, get in front of the camera and just like do what we love. Why do you want to be down on that? I mean, this is a community. We're supposed to be supporting each other and like like, there's videos I, out there that I'm like, okay, what in the world's going on? And I and I pretty much try to give them constructive criticism. I'm like, you know, hey, your your video is good, but um, I change this or, you know, I just blend a little bit more. You know, stuff that I see that they probably may have missed, but I don't really try to be rude about it. I try to be as helpful as possible because as a community, this is what we should be doing to each other. We should be helping and... I just feel those people who are just so nasty and negative in the comments actually have no life are probably a very hated person who all, all the time gets like picked on and bullied but don't bring that to anybody else because you become what is bugging you and I don't think that's really good. I'm not really super religious or anything but I think those people really do need to go to Jesus. 
Like, I believe in Jesus and I believe in God, but, you know, I believe that, you know, they don't do everything in the world because I think, you know, a lot of stuff is up to choices and stuff. But those people are making really bad choices in life and they really need to go get some help, go see Jesus, go get some prayer. Um, I just think that people like that are horrible. And I, and I do, and if I get some, I'll report them. I no longer respond to them, I just report them and I ban them from my channel because I don't have time for people like that. I want people who are gonna give me constructive criticism who is going to help me become a better person and they seriously need to be a better person um okay next question is how many thumbnail options do you take and of course i could see where i copied all the stuff my friend was like girl you take a lot um which is not true because normally if i'm taking a picture for um facebook which unfortunately i really don't have time for anymore I kind of just get on my pages every once in a while to update stuff about my business or which I haven't even updated my cosplay makeup page so it's like uh, I kind of need to get back on that um, actually for thumbnails I normally just take three at the most um, I try to I take them with whatever but normally I can get it in about one shot normally I just sit there and kind of set, sorry I hit my camera I just do this I take my picture because I do film with my digital camera so I take a picture or if I didn't take a picture or I did or I'm editing and I see a shot I really like I will hit my capture button and capture that and use that as a thumbnail but um, three is about the most for me who's your youtuber crush oh my god and she actually put a ha 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 next to it um Actually, my YouTube crush is Runny Runny 999. And what his channel is, it's a cooking channel. Um, he teaches, uh, it's like an order, like someone places an order and he cooks it. It's like if someone just films themselves ordering something from him and he films it, then he eats it. <laughs> and then, he, then at the end of the video, or this today's order is from da da da. Um, he's a Japanese man, I believe. He's from Japan, and I just seriously love watching his channel. It is amazing. And of course, I happen to like Asians, so there you go. Um, seven, who would you do like to do a collabo wish list with? Um, I actually had to write these down because I have so many. Um, Charisma Star, I would love to do a collab with her because I just love how imaginative she is and all her videos are amazing. And like, I so much wish I could do that, but I don't have the creativity like she has. Um, like, she can make a whole set from like just stuff in like thrift store or something. I just kind of be happy if I can figure out a way to hang up my green screen. And instead of having to go over to my wall over there where the light's not as good because I am Paul okay I work two jobs and most of my money goes to another job to support it and try to grow it as best I can because the first few years you have a business you broke okay you you cut even that's it you cut even so I'm taking at least some money from that after paying my bills to that so I can just get a little bit more ahead and grow it um, my f best friend I want to do is Jay Ninja Mori. Girl, we need to do a video together. Um, Adorkable Liz 77. Um, I have done a collabo with her before, but I would like to do more in the future. I'm actually kind of thinking of some more MLP ones that I would love to do with her. So, if you're watching this, Adorkable Liz, I might be contacting you soon as soon as I think of some details. Because I'm thinking. The male ponies are the male stallions of MLP. I think of think we think you do something good right there. Um, dupe two one one one, which is um, Promise Fawn. I would love to do a collabo with her. She's just amazing in her makeup and looks and everything. Um, her costumes and set are also also cool. 
yeah, also, I can't even talk, so it's on one of me. Um, Vintage Jotaki, I'd love to do one with her. Goldie Starling, Graveyard Girl, Alexis Charlotte, and L, you know I gotta put you on this girl, I got to. XL Bell. Um, she wants to do um, nail art, so I. I'm sorry if you can hear stuff, I'm listening. But the neighbors are moving and I think I'm hearing them. All the way from the other side of my apartment because I'm already at the end of my apartment in my room. And there are like four rooms the other way. Um, Al wants to do nail tutorials so I think she could probably do a nail look and I'll do the makeup look to go with it. I think that would be really cool. Um, of course, number one beauty guru, Michelle Fawn, I'd love to do, um, collab with her. Pretty much most of my stuff is pretty much people who are very creative and can do a lot of things. I know I probably could if, if I wouldn't be so lazy and actually find a way to rig up a green screen. Then I actually have to find lights that would fit in the area that I film. Or maybe I could bring it over there. But pretty much there is going to be my work desk if I can ever find one for small enough to fit that area. I don't know. I just have a space issue. But um, yeah, those are the ones I would love to do a collab with. Oh, I also forgot one. Um, Bad Girls Bitch Blog. I'd love to do a collab on makeup with them, so yeah. I think it would be fun, but I don't know how that would kind of work out. Maybe figure something out, maybe? I don't know. What are you wearing on your bottom half? Jeans. If I've gone out somewhere before I film, it's jeans. But if I've just been home, I normally have like a top on, like a nice top or whatever goes with the look. I either have shorts that, um, just basketball shorts that I use for sleeping, um, workout shorts, or if I'm soaping, I have my long pajama bottoms on. But today, it's jeans, I don't know if you can see, some jeans, jeans and a foot. Um, I never really fully dress up unless I'm about ready to do like a cosplay shoot or something. Even then I'm kind of half-assed dressed. Just so you know, I'm, I'm never, I'm never pantsless, okay? I'm never pantsless. Always have pants on. Or a skirt. Um, how long do you hit record? Um, kind of a while. <laughs> it really is for me. It's like, I'm running, like I have my first thing I do. Locate my tripod, put the camera on. And of course, right now mine's kind of dying on me because I need to let the battery die and drain. I have my cell phone charger and my camera charger. And then uh, after that, I'm running around trying to find what I need for the look and try to put them on the table right here. And of course, always gotta have ice water or just water. Always have to have that. That's a must every day, all day. Um, and ooh, I think that's about it. Normally, it's, I don't really don't plan the looks out. I really don't. All I just know is I have a theme and a look in mind. But the, sometimes that doesn't really exactly happen. I change things, and some things I just can't find. Like I was. This is actually a look I'm doing for a new makeup um, playlist. This is called History uh, History and Makeup. This I've done the smoky eye pinup retro thing from like 03 to 09. And it's all about really the lashes. Sorry, I went over 20 minutes. So I'm going to have to really cut this short. Um, it's all about like, like I said, it's all about the lashes. And I was actually going to wear my lovely Lolita by Katy Perry Eyelore Lashes, which were very thin going in and really dramatic going out. I actually messed those up doing a glitter look. I actually had some glitter glue 
Actually, just some. Oh, where is it? Alright, here it is. I actually had gel glitter and I put more glitter. And unfortunately, it must have got on the lash, on the edge of the lashes, because it clumped up so bad and I could not take it off, so I actually had to throw them. Uh, they're, they're a $2 pair, anyway. So I put some demis on, which is kind of about how, it say, how the same it would look, anyway. So, um, even when I film, I'm still cutting off the camera and running around looking for stuff. Because I either have it in my bathroom, somewhere around the room, or in my purse. How do you feel about the YouTube community slash culture? Um, like I said previously, I think it's good because you have all this knowledge at your fingertips for free. Because you can learn to cook things, you can learn to fix cars, you can learn how to do makeup, you can learn how to sew, which I still need to do that because I can't sew. Um, what's your secret to a, success, to a successful YouTube channel? Um, I don't know, I'm not successful. I probably wouldn't even know if I became successful. I probably wouldn't even know that and I'd probably think I'm still the worst channel in the world. So, um, like I said, I have no idea. I could be like, I don't know, I could be like Michelle Vaughn making millions of dollars doing this, having tons of subscribers and tons of viewers, and I'd probably say I was still not successful. I'm just, you know, just a channel that I don't know where all this is coming from because it's not that good. At least to me, my friends all like, girl, we learn a lot from you, but I don't know. I just always feel that like I could do better, so. But what I could say about being a successful channel is just be yourself. Because trust me, if you try to be someone else, you can't do that because that's not who you are. You're not going to remember, you know, what to do. So if you're wacky and crazy like I am, just be crazy. That's why I, that's why I freaking just film, cut out all the crazy crap I do. Because I normally make faces about me doing stuff. Like if I can't do it right, I'm like, ah. Like, I just make the dumbest face and I just cut that out. Because who wants to see me doing 20 minutes of faces? I know I don't. I see myself doing enough faces. So just be crazy if that's what you can do. Be creative. Do things that people haven't done before, but just make it taste tasteful. Okay, don't come up there like half-ass naked. I don't believe that's going to be doing anything but making you look very cheap. Um, who do you tag? Hmm. Let's see. Jane Ginger Mori, I tag you. Adorable Liz 77, I tag you. And I want to tag you, Al, but you have a channel with nothing on it. How dare you? So, and I actually wanted to tag. Um, Bad Girls Bitch Vlog, but she already she already got that up. I guess as I was doing, as I was realizing, I had to tag people that way. I actually went on there and tried to make a list. Then I went to their channel to make sure they didn't have it on there, and one did. But it was fun to watch. Definitely fun to watch and get a little bit more info. Cause I like these tags. It makes it feel a little bit more personal. You know, you get to know your YouTuber as, you know, more of a person and not just, okay, this is what they do. Like, I really don't like to speak in my videos because I think I have a horrible voice. I just, I'm just, I'm like everyone. I hate the way I sound when I record. I hate it. Like, I'm like, oh, girl, turn that off. That's bad. Just turn it off. Also, oh, thinking of that, I want to tag Graveyard Girl because I just love Bunny. She's amazing, and I definitely would like to see what she would come up with for this tag. Um, 